Okay, good morning everybody. It's time for another Feature Friday. So with the release of Application Suite 8.11, there's a lot of new functionality in there. So we're going to talk very specifically about the Asset Manager mobile application. When it first came out, there wasn't a whole lot you could do in it, but now there's a lot of editing capability that you can do on your asset records by way of this mobile application. Even more importantly, I'm going to use an older version, Maximo 7.6, that has the new 8.11 mobile applications on it. So that'll be a little fun to, to see the old mixed with the new. So anyway, let's get started and uh, let's take a look at the uh, Asset Manager mobile application. Okay, so like I said, I have logged into a version of 7.6 that has the new 8.11 mobile applications installed on it. And I've already logged in. I'm going to go right to Assets. And as you should be getting used to by now, I'm going to roll down to Role-Based Applications. This is where the mobile applications will appear. Um, and also note that these applications will launch in a browser as well. And you can see I have Asset Manager. And I'm just going to go right ahead and click on Asset Manager. And away we go. Okay, so once the application launches, in my case, into a browser tab, you'll notice that I start out with a menu option up here at the top called My Assets. Now, this is based upon a query that is on an object structure behind the scenes. And that query is using the criteria as to whether or not me as a user am a custodian on the asset record or not. So in order for me to see any assets in this application, I need to be indicated as a custodian for one or more of the assets. If your definition of my assets needs to change, that's fine. Just go ahead and change that query on the MX API asset object structure, and then you'll see the list of assets based upon your new criteria. Okay, so as you can see, I have a single record here. And I'm able to see the, uh, the asset number, it has an image, some other icons I can click on if I had a, a map uh, functional on this system. But over here on the right hand side is the arrow to open up this particular record. And now I've got a lot more detail about this, this asset. Of course I have this description that I'm going to change here in just a little bit. You'll see that. I can see if it's up, I can see what its status is, I can change its status as well. Um, I can see that this particular asset is a child of a higher level asset. It has no service address. I don't have a classification yet. Here's its location, its vendor, its manufacturer. Over here on the right, the serial number, you know, the failure classes and everything else. So this is all information coming out of that asset record that is in the, uh, the, the managed system. Okay? Or in this case, it's a Maximo system. So also, if there's any attachments that uh, are on this particular record, you can see them as well. And it's a simple matter of going over the right hand side and opening them up. Uh, in this case, it's a, an operations manual a PDF file. But if I wanted to make some changes out here in the mobile app to this record, now with the newer version of this application, I can go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go over here to the right hand side and click on the pencil. That is our indication of edit capability. You can see here that I've, uh, I've got free uh, ability to change the description, the long description. Uh, obviously, I can't change the asset number, of course, um, but I can change the serial number, what its type is, the vendor, manufacturer, all the way down. Um, I could even change the failure class if I wanted to. But in my case, I'm just going to adjust the classification. And now I've got this particular classification set up so that it will make changes to the description once I classify the asset. So I just come over here to the right hand side, click the spyglass. Here's a list of all the classifications that are in my system. I'm going to choose pump over here on the right. And I have some sub classifications. So I'm going to go for the centrifugal pump here again over on the right hand side. And now that classification has been uh, added to the um, asset. Okay, And I need to come over here and save my changes. That's very important. Don't forget to save your changes. Go ahead and do that. 
And now I return back to my record and you can see that the description has changed. Again, that classification um, does impact the description. The, what, that's the way it's set to, uh, to do that. Okay. Also, I have some new fields. Way down here on the bottom, I have the specifications or the attributes that came from that classification that I can also now fill out here as I wish um, in the mobile application. Okay. So I can put in the horsepower, the gallons per minute, you know, whatever these specs, whatever these attributes are, I can fill them out here. And then quite simply, once I'm done with that, um, then those changes that I've made out here in the mobile application, or even in my case, I'm in a browser still, remember that, then those changes are made back to the original record uh, in the, um, uh, back in the system. Okay, so there you go, the Asset Manager mobile application. Pretty straightforward app, um, a really good one to give to your technicians and have them uh, verify the uh, different uh, pieces of information about an asset. Um, again, it just gives them a, a different view of the assets that are out there. And if you give them permission to make changes to the records, they can do that while they're out there in the field rather than having to write it down and tell somebody or email it to them or whatever. You can just take care of things uh, right there directly. So hopefully that was helpful, and uh, we'll see you next Friday. Thank you.